Welcome. In previous videos, I installed two different hard drives in an Intel NUC uh, desktop PC, and I installed Windows 10 on one hard drive, and then I installed Ubuntu on the other. So now the bootloader will come up, uh, that was installed by Linux, will come up, and you can choose which operating system you want. But I'm going to talk about a tweak today that you can do to have it automatically go to the last system that it was on. So if you choose Windows, it will reboot into Windows. If you choose Ubuntu, it will, will reboot into Ubuntu. So what you want to do is, is log into your Ubuntu system and then open up a terminal. You can click on the little dots down here and just type terminal in and it will come up. And then we are going to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash default, forward slash grub. Okay, and we'll hit enter, type in our password, and now we're in the grub uh, config file. So you may want to make a backup of this. If you screw this up, you could really do some damage. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to this grub default zero, and we're going to change that. We're going to delete the zero and type in saved, and then we're going to hit enter. And we're going to type in grub underscore save default. And then we're going to say equals true. Okay. So double check your lines there. Make sure you didn't type anything wrong. And then type control O to save. Control X to exit. Then we'll type in sudo update dash grub. And that will update the grub. And then we can reboot. I, you can just type sudo reboot on the command line if you want. Okay, so now we're at the bootloader. And we have the options here. So if we choose the Windows Boot Manager, which is the third option, this will boot us into Windows. Okay, so we're at the Windows Boot screen. We can click down here in the right-hand corner, and I'll say restart. Now we have the bootloader screen back up. And you'll see it defaulted to the Windows Boot Manager. So it will boot into Windows uh, automatically this time. We do the same thing again, and now we can go back up to Ubuntu, and now we have the Ubuntu login screen. So if we were to restart one last time here, we should see it automatically reboot to Ubuntu. And here we are, it's going to default boot into Ubuntu. So that's how you do a little tweak to grub the bootloader to have this automatically boot into the last OS you used. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.